Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. And today things might be a tiny bit different. We're not on chapter five, but actually back on chapter four. I actually looked back and realized that I had missed some cutscenes and we forgot to unlock one of my favorite characters in the series, Tien. So I sort of figured out how this works. If it's purple, that means it's a boss battle, which means we wanna do that one last or when we're ready to move on to the next chapter. So all the ones with the blue question mark usually mean there's some kind of tutorial attached to it. I'm not really too worried about that because I think we've actually gotten all the tutorials in this area done, but we did miss this one. I thought that we could just go here and finish up the rest of the level and it wouldn't let us move forward unless we did everything. That's not the case. You can actually continue to the boss and totally skip some plot and unlocking a character. So because of all that, I figured we'd replay it just so that we can see what we ended up missing. And then from here on out, I won't miss a single thing. Now, some things might be a little bit different because of that. When you start a new campaign through the warrior arc or any of the arcs, it looks like you don't reset your levels. So Goku's level three now, Yamcha and Krillin are still level two, and I still have all of my abilities and then some. So now I have two attack power up level ones and a defense up, and I still have like, you know, two or one or two other things to choose from. Either way, we'll just continue on. First thing we'll do is try to unlock Tien, but then I'll do the other stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and start with this. We'll get bonus is for so our characters will become stronger, which will make it easier for, you know, throughout today's episode, my characters will just be a little bit stronger. It does also give me the time to sort of brush up on stuff. Regardless. Hey, What's up with the shaved head, buddy? This is new. I uh, thought it would help me get into a more of a fighting mentality. Is that weird? No, of course not. No, it's not weird at all. Kind of takes me back, actually. <laughs> you haven't changed very much over the years, and uh, looking at your head reminds me of our training days, you know? For people who don't know, Krillin isn't a natural bald person. I know, right? It's kind of like a... Well, it feels like I'm starting out again. Well, they do say the less hair you have, the older you look. But I'm actually kind of jealous of how young you look, man. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's the case, why don't you shave your head, too? You know, you might look younger if you do. No, no way. You heard me right. Having less hair usually makes you look older. I do like Yamcha's long hair. Plus, uh, if I didn't have any hair, I wouldn't be a hit with the ladies. <laughs> well, you aren't already. Oh, Yamcha, still looking for love, huh? Obviously, I, you know, I want to get married someday. You may be older. You haven't changed a bit, have you, Yamcha? <laughs> Always focusing on women rather than the enemy at hand. Well, uh, that's just one of the many reasons we need to do our best to bring back peace. But enough about me, okay? Let's just let's focus on the fight. <laughs> oh, man. Same old Yamcha. Okay, so that's pretty weird. I feel like we did this battle before, but we got a different cutscene about Goku wanting to train. That makes me like both really nervous because I like Dragon Ball a lot. I want to be like super completionist about this game and see and do everything. But obviously, if it's just sort of like what cutscenes happen, which ones don't is by chance, and how am I gonna do that? Maybe I just chose a different one last time and we'll find out later. But for now, we'll just go ahead and beat this Krillin clone up. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've been doing pretty good with uh, the tutorials and stuff. Obviously, we already know about this one, I think. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the Meteor Smash. But also, I wanted to play as Yamcha because I didn't get the chance to play him last episode. So I did actually put him in the second slot. There we go. Oh boy, whoa, whoa, what a move. To start things off, that was really cool. Okay, he's really quick and like snappy from the like three attacks I threw out there before it was done. Okay, cool, and health recovery bonus level three. That's actually really good. And we all got a KO bonus, so our health was restored, but we didn't lose any because it was a perfect battle. Good stuff. So we'll be doing every single battle and every level as much as I can handle, unless it you know, beats me up too much. But for now, definitely unlock, or going, yeah, yeah, going to unlock Tien. You can see the other guys are getting more powerful, but honestly, I sort of want that. Okay, so we'll get, uh, the reward of Tien being playable if we win here, so let's get to it. I'm excited. Oh boy. If you guys don't know, Tien is one of my favorite characters in the series. He's just really cool in my opinion, especially in the original Dragon Ball, and oh no. Oh, it's Chao Tzu. He's protecting Tien. Get away from me! Oh no. Tien, I'll protect you! Hold on there, buddy. Stop! Do you mind if we join you? Goku? But what are you guys doing here? Shao Tzu, you really held your own out there. You can leave this to the rest of us. 
Okay. Thanks, guys. No problem. Over here, clone. We're your opponents now. Oh, hoo -hoo. is that it? Looks like it. So it looks like they sort of write these cutscenes just in case you don't have one character or another. Cause that's sort of a thing I noticed. Like there's no Yamcha in this cutscene even though we have Yamcha unlocked. Which is weird. I don't know what will end up happening for the cell fight. Cause, oh yeah, I guess, was Yamcha in the, the cutscene for the cell fight? I guess he wasn't. It was just Goku and Krillin. Weird. I guess they don't tie in any characters that you might just end up skipping. Weird. I don't see what the benefit would be to not getting these characters. I mean, just more characters are better, right? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and switch to Yamcha if I can. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, uh, it's not working. Hold on, hold on. It's not wanting to be changed. There we go, because I was using an assist. Oh man, I love, I need to check out those moves really quickly. So of course he has Wolf Fang Fist. Let's try that one. Oh, that's so great. Wait, hold on. I don't know how to do the reverse Wolf Fang Fist. I think I can only do that maybe when they're attacking me. Wolf Fang Fist Pack Attack. Uh, Wolf Fang Fist Finisher. Ooh, okay, there's like some interesting combos here. Wolf Fang Fist Gale Claws. Oh, that sounds cool. Kamehameha Neo Wolf Fang Fist Spirit Ball. Oh yeah, that's right, he knows how to do the Spirit Ball. Ultimate Wolf Fang Fist. I gotta try the ultimate. This is too much fun. Okay. Oh, no, that was, oh, that was, that was the wrong one actually. Okay, so that was, that was back in, uh, R1, I need back in L1. So I know, like I know that he's like sort of beating me up here, but I, this is the chance to experiment, and that's not what I wanted. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Goku always has to step in to steal the, the limelight. Maybe I am doing that wrong then. Special move list. Ultimate Wolf, oh no, no, yeah. That's a Neo Wolf Fang Fist. I don't know what I did wrong there. Um, here, uh. No, that didn't work either. Okay, sorry, I'm really trying to figure this out. I'll try one more time. The opposite direction of the enemy, and then R1 or R2. I don't think the difference really matters there. Did he block it, or was it just not that exciting? Oh, whoa, whoa, there we go, there we go. Oh, that is, whoa, here we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. That was awesome. So try the spirit ball out really quickly. Um, the spirit ball will be, up in R1, opposite direction. Okay. It's just like, what's the difference then between, a, I mean, he says Neo. Um, no, that didn't work. Maybe we'll just try the Neo for right now. Get the three gauges. Weird. So the one that I did that apparently was the Neo, he just says Wolf Fang Fist, but for the ultimate Wolf Fang Fist, he just says Neo Wolf Fang Fist. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe there was just some weird tra translation issues, but it seems like we were doing the ultimate properly which is still pretty cool, so. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to figure him out because he's a lot of fun. Tian. <clears throat> oh, he's okay, my boy. Tian, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're alive. Me too. Jiaotzu, is that you? What happened to me? You got beat up. Everyone showed up and rescued us. What do you mean? What's going on? I can explain if you really want, but it's a little complicated. All right, and so he was explained to. There's no so, Yamcha. Those peculiar waves are behind it all. What a myth, it's all right with you. I'd like to fight too. You're gonna fight? Tien, are you sure that's a good idea? Of course it is, he's Tien. Oh no, can you even move okay? I appreciate your concern, Chatsu. But I'm fine. If I don't fight at times like these, then what am I training for? Tien! Chiaotzu, I want you to- I want to fight too! I'm not scared! I want to help you, Tien! Chiaotzu! I can do it! We always train together! I know I can be of use! Very well. Then we fight together. Just promise never to leave my side. You got that? Promise. So I think that Tien actually have some moves that have Chaozu in them, which is actually really cool because usually in these kind of games, they just totally forget Chaozu exists. So this is really exciting. I like how they have Tien's get up that he really only uses in Dragon Ball Super. 
Uh, you don't see the current clothing he has much in the normal Dragon Ball Z or late Dragon Ball Z, but we're gonna go ahead and do some more battles so that we can level up Tien, but first I actually gotta get him in our party. So Krillin, I mean, how close is Krillin to level three? Okay, we'll get Krillin to level three, and then we'll do Tien next round. I mean, I still wanna do some experimenting with Yamcha too, so we got a couple things. I mean, of course, I'll try to play as many characters as I can in due time, but at this point, now that we've, I hope we've seen all the cutscenes, I'll try to get through this area and all this stuff really quickly. Um, I don't think the cutscenes will be any different, so I might even just do these battles and come back to you guys if anything interesting happens. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. This is different, okay. Oh, uh, we're at like the martial arts arena. Whoa, I'm uh, kind of surprised they made a clone of me. I guess uh, the Red Ribbon Army views me and my power as a valuable asset. Wait, this isn't good. I shouldn't be happy about this. I haven't been training lately, so I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't take this seriously. I mean, it'd be really uncool if I lost to my clone, but since it's my clone, I should be able to go all out. I will beat this clone and show everybody that Yamcha can beat himself. This is really weird, because I didn't get that one either. So that means that last time we played in the last episode, we got a cutscene we just didn't get in this one. I wonder if there'll be like a theater mode at some point where we can like unlock all these so I can see them all, even if I haven't really seen them in game. Like maybe you beat the chapter, you unlock all those possible cutscene combinations in theater mode or something. That'd be really good because I don't want to miss any of it. Like I really, really don't. Either way, I haven't played as Yamshi yet. I did get Krillin to level three. We haven't seen the martial arts tournament yet, so I figured it'd be fun to do this. I have been getting a little bit better with Yamcha as well, which is good. So let's, uh, I have to wait because I just use the assist with him. Um, there we go. Whoa, that was pretty good. Already beating him up. Oh man, it's just, there's something with Yamcha. I can see why a lot of people are enjoying him. He moves really snappy. It's really good. So let's go ahead and just keep going with that. Oh, I like the little one. He stands on his hands and he does a little feet combo. That's really cool. So we'll go ahead and do the ultimate with Fang Fist. This definitely is his finisher and it just doesn't really explain it very well. Man, is he are cool for it. Okay, ooh, ooh, ow. We're taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Wow, I, like his charge is a little weird because he does like a backflip and then he charges. So it's like, it sort of fakes you out a little bit, but we got him, not a problem. <laughs> okay, so that was another easy battle. Goku's gonna get level four, Yamcha got level three. Very good stuff though. We're getting experience more and more quickly, which is really good. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take on Cell and we'll worry about playing Tien as we get to the next area. And, and I'll include this if there's anything different, but if there isn't, I'm just gonna keep going and I'll see you guys then. Okay, so now we're finally back on chapter five, map five, Piccolo revived, find Android 16. And if we take a look, there is the clone Cell. He is the boss of this area. We can once again tell because of the bottom left, uh, it says boss battle. So we wanna do that one last. We can even rescue Majin Buu, really? Okay, so we'll be doing a lot of stuff here. First off, let me go ahead and switch to Tien. And my team, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out Krillin like that, and we're also gonna switch Yam, oh, okay, so yeah, Tien should go in the second spot, and then uh, Yamcha can go in the third. I really don't know how to switch to the third character. I've been trying to figure that out. That out. Of course, if you guys have figured it out, feel free to let me know. Um, trying to figure out what other stuff we have here. I might be able to apply here. Like partial drain, recovers a portion of the damage done to the enemy as health. I don't think we really need that too much. I think for right now our combo works pretty well, but uh, we can do one of these and you can see that the uh, importance of this, of recovery, learning when and how to recover will help you avoid opponent onslaughts. Time your recovery carefully to prevent them from dominating you. Okay, sure. That sounds like it could be very helpful. And then we have Captain Ginyu over there. That sounds like it could be fun. I mean, it's a clone Ginyu. Hey, Tien. Hey. What do you think the chances are of us winning this fight, huh? This fight? Yeah. And I'm not just talking about the enemy that's right in front of us. I'm talking about this whole situation until it's all over. The good news is, our enemies are just as affected as us by the waves. So, we should all be at the same level. To put it simply, I'd say our chances are about 50-50. That's my favorite thing about this game so far, is like everybody's equal, and I wish that the actual show was like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. The waves are playing a huge role in this, huh? So, I uh, guess that means we shouldn't have to rely on Goku to take care of everything this time. No, you shouldn't. Exactly. Let's show everyone what we can do. 
Here goes. Yeah. Okay, so I guess um, that cutscene might have been different if we had Yamcha and Krillin, or Tien and Krillin, right? Oh man, I guess that's both really cool, and I was like, no, I want to see all of it. I mean, maybe it would have even been like the insane exact script with the other humans, I'm not really sure. But we're gonna be playing as Tien, not only my favorite human in the series, but in my opinion, the strongest. I mean, he's the only one who played a role at like, in fighting like Super Boo, like when the Boo Saga was going on. Speaking of which, I am really, okay, yeah, that's right, we wanna perform a mid-air recovery, so I'll take the damage mid-air. There we go, ooh, Tien's looking really cool. So let's try that again, uh, or move forward. Okay, I did that correctly. So if we get hit, there's ways to recover and bounce back. There we go. Okay, is that it? Nope. Just before, oh, okay. That was pretty intense. I know, I know. Hold on, and boom, got it. Delay when you get up from an attack. Oh, wait. It Was that not it? Uh. I didn't press anything there. Uh, was was that what he wanted? There we go, I guess, that was weird. I don't know what was different there. That didn't make any sense to me. Okay, finished by defeating the enemy. I would love to, no, Tien, I was gonna use you. Oh, okay, beat him up, Goku. Beat him up, take him down. Oh, actually, no, we wanted the humans to show what they could do. No, we should switch over to, uh, yep, there we go, to Yamcha. There we go. There we go, you're getting it now, you're getting it now, Tien. We're also gonna be going against clone Nappa and clone Ginyu, so we're gonna get to go against some characters here that I'm not too familiar with and their moveset, so we might actually get a bit beat up here, but I am more intense than ever, because I wanted to play as Tien really badly, and then I ruined it for myself, didn't I? All right then. Ooh. Then we probably should get Goku in the mix soon, just like that. That's always super fun to do. Oh my, my gosh, I feel like I, the story mode is definitely getting me more familiar with how to play the game than the actual tutorials did that I tried in the beta. All right, so get him. I'm probably a little bit overdone, I gotta say. It is pretty easy to uh, charge that kind of stuff up though. So now that we did this, oh, that is so cool. And okay, so I, I was expecting the entire map to be destroyed. That is something they used to do in Budokai 3 is that like the entire map would just be this wasteland. I mean, obviously in the background it is a bit beat up. You can see the actual like um, resting house or whatever it's called has like some holes in it and stuff. So it obviously has some kind of effect to it. All right, there we go, there we go. That was pretty good. And then also I've been practicing other moves with him. So I should be able to do a warp Kamehameha. Ain't that cool. All right then, and then finally, boom, finish you. And Throw you into a building too, why not? Mission complete with a destructive finish. Okay, I'm having so much fun. Got those guys taken down. We're a little bit far away from our next level. Tien got some health back, which is good. He's gonna need that. I just wanna try a couple moves with him before, because we don't lose too much health. It was just a matter of me trying to take damage for the sake of the tutorial that got me confused there. But um, I'll try to do, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, what's happening? I guess Majin Buu is here. A clone of Kid Buu, destroyer of Earth, has appeared. He has taken over an enemy's space and is absorbing that enemy to power up. He is a powerful foe to be sure, but you stand to gain a ton of experience if you defeat him. Take him on if you think you've got what it takes. Oh my gosh, and he's level 13? That might be a bit difficult. Cell was level seven in the last level to give you a, like a, a comparison. Okay, I wanna check this out. We are just going right in against Clone Kid Boo. Oh my gosh, this is exciting, it's really cool. This kind of stuff can just happen. This is a really fun way to do the story mode, I like it a lot. Cause it's sort of like, it explains why everybody's the same power level and how we can have a team of Tien and Yamcha and Krillin even. I guess you can just kick Goku out of there. Oh man, his animation is so cool. Anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and just try to do a bit of that. I'll try to, you know, do as well as I can with you. Whoa, hold on, hold on, ow, ow, ow. Not really what I wanted to do. I also don't know any of his abilities, so if I could earn up my energy so I can do, oh yeah, look at all this stuff, Volleyball Fist, Crane Strike, Dodon Ray. I really like it, because Tien has like a really interesting set of moves. He's not a Crane, well yeah, wait. Yeah, he's a Crane Hermit student, right? Am I getting that right? 
And because of that, instead of it being the Turtle Hermit student, he's got really just really good, good things. Farewell, Tien. I'm guessing that's like a move where Tien sacrifices himself, but oh, Tien got taken out. Okay, well, it's me and Yamcha now. I really just need to earn up Tien's health a bit more. I don't know if he's gonna get experience now that uh, he got just like defeated. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to like, I guess I would just really wanna have him in my team and earn up his health a little bit, but not actually play as him. Because I think we can, we can defeat Boo with, you know, Goku and Yamcha. That could have been possible. Um, there we go, and then I'm just gonna go for it. Wait. Oh boy, I mean, I'm not very good at like, you know, defending so far. I It's something I'm going to have to get better with, but in time, right, in time. Well, that was a destructive finish, pretty gosh darn good. Luckily, Tien will still get some health back, not too much, he's, he gained, you know, stands to gain level three. He's also our lowest level character right now, so I'm just sort of probably gonna sneak him in the back and then um, deal with uh, Yamcha and just have Tien just build up health over time. I would really like to play more of him but uh, there's only so much I can do, right? So let's go ahead and turn it to, yep, just switch him. Okay, cool. And then we will move back over this way. I should have enough turns to get to everything. And luckily they seem to be pretty gracious with that. So let's go over here to uh, this one. This one is the importance of recovery as well. So we can actually ignore the tutorial, just go in and defeat them because the tutorials are definitely easier. So it gives you some room to build up that health that I'm talking about. So. Tien, here's your chance. We are going to get three enemies out, Cologne, Yamcha, Captain Ginyu, and Cell. So it might be a little bit more difficult, but they're more handable levels. Instead of level 13, like Kid Buu there, this is only level four. But usually when it does, you know, like the red, uh, you know, like, here's who you're fighting. Usually that means that there's got not going to be any, uh, what's it called? Wow, he actually beat me up a good chunk there. I don't know if that's because, Oh wow, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm passing the tutorials unintentionally. That means I'm getting better. Hey, 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 ooh. Come on, come on. There we go. And then, whoa, ow. These guys are pretty good though. Come on, get him. That was pretty good. I need to finish it off our cologne as much as possible. But now I have more of a pressure than ever to do well with each character so that not only can they get experience and level up, but they can get their health back for the next battle, which will surely be difficult. Okay. Um, ow. Because I know it's gonna like he's gonna be trying to hit me, so it's like now should probably be a good time just to maybe I should just be doing this kind of stuff because this would win the battle. What is what is Yamcha's Kamehameha? And I also haven't shown off the uh, Spirit Ball, so I could try that really quickly. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, of course it's not as grand as Goku's would be, but I don't think you can even get Goku's Spirit Ball in this game. Um, and then we could just do Kamehameha. Wait. Uh, okay, so I do have enough energy for it. And I could just keep doing that over and over again. I think. I don't know if there's like a moment of resting. I mean, I keep on building up energy, which is interesting. It doesn't use up any key. Or maybe I'm just earning more than I'm losing. I don't know, it's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with that. I'm gonna, wait, oh, wrong one. Yep, definitely the wrong one. There we go. Get it in there. Ooh, boom. So yeah, I mean this stuff isn't really all that difficult except for the fact that I'm just bad at the game. But well, I'd love to hear which characters you guys have been enjoying, what your combo team is. I'm sure that there are some combos that work really well and complement each other. I'm excited to hear about it. Like this game's roster is pretty big. I know a lot of people are you know, used to Dragon Ball games having like 100 plus characters, but I, I do like how this game is structured. It still has a lot of characters, seeing how each one of them is pretty much unique. That's you know super huge. Anyways, we're gonna make our way up here and then over to Trunks where we can unlock Majin Buu. So there's both Majin Buu and Kid Buu, which is crazy exciting. Um, we don't even have him here though, but we also get a key fill up rate at level two. I don't know, we don't get that. That's just what they have, okay. I actually didn't realize that, so that's good to keep in mind. Hopefully there's a cutscene of some sort here. Oh, he's sleeping. He's a snoozing Boo. Uh, is he asleep? He was exactly the same during that written test we had. Totally asleep. <laughs> so this does take place even after the tournament between universe six and seven, I think? He's out like a light. Do you think it could have something to do with the waves? Uh, maybe. This Goku, is not good. Over there! Another clone showed up! Okay, so before we even get to do too much, there's a clone. 
but Krillin is not a part of our team and he was a part of that cutscene, so maybe I'm totally wrong with the cutscenes. I'm still trying to figure that out. If anybody knows, feel free to let me know. We're going against Cold and Vegeta. First time seeing Vegeta in the game, that'll be exciting. Oh my gosh, oh boy. Might be tough though, especially since some of my characters right now are a little low on health. I'll do what I can. It looks like Goku and Yamcha, if we could like somehow perfect everybody right now, that'd be really good. Um, that's, chances of that happening are really low, but uh, so far they're not doing much. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There we go, get you over there. But of course, if we just do a whole bunch of small attacks like that, we do eventually build up our energy a little bit, which is good. But I think I'm gonna go ahead, start with Yamcha, and then, and then move right into, Oh wow, I missed him, I missed him, that's not good. Okay, Yamcha, show Vegeta who's boss. Oh boy, I forgot what button I was pressing there. Okay, well now Yamcha's gonna take damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, ow. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed, no! That's not good, because it still uses up all the energy as if I didn't. Okay, well, I should be able to do that. It's almost enough. Boom, okay, good stuff, good stuff. Let me move back over to Goku in a moment, I think. Because I don't know how the energy stores work. Oh yeah, so Goku still has the energy he has, I think? Which is pretty good. Okay, good, good, good. I think that'll be able to, yes, awesome. Because it would that'd be an interesting tactic if each character has their own set of energy. I could build up Goku's energy and then switch to Yamcha and then when the enemy is least expecting it, boom, switch back to Goku, use his super because they're just not ready for that. Regardless, we got that done. Majin Buu is now playable, which means everybody here gets some heals. Tien is back up to half. I probably won't play Majin Buu in this episode because I want to play more Tien, but oh my gosh, we saved him. Do you even recognize us? Oh, and by the way, you're lying in the dirt. Ooh. Hey! Did you save Boo? Yep. Ooh. What going on? Boo can't move well. Yeah, about that. You've got some weird waves to think. Let me explain what's going on. I don't think Majin Boo's gonna get it no matter what, so you shouldn't Did bother. You get all that? Nope, he went back to sleep. I'll start again from the beginning, okay? <laughs> you get weak. Strange waves fault. You beat up bad guys, okay? One more time? <laughs> Ugh, I've had it with you. How can I make it any clearer than that? <laughs> hey, just relax, Bulma. Hey, guys, let me try explaining it to Boo. You see, there's this soul inside of us who helps us fight the bad guys. So, soul and Goku is good soul? Yep. Yeah, good soul, good person, really good in fact. Oh yeah? Mr. Satan, good person too. Who I good person? You good person? You lose friend. You get candy. Oh, oh no have candy. Hey, that's okay. Bulma will make you the best pudding in the entire universe. Hooray, pudding! What? I will? Really? Better than pudding boo, ain't it, party? Uh, sure, way better than that stuff. But you gotta fight on our side first, okay? Boo, understand. First boo fight, then boo get pudding! Are you really okay with this? Do you think you could even make pudding that good? Uh... You're gonna owe me for this, Goku. All right, we gotta make the world's best pudding later. Oh, I love this game so far. It's been so much fun. It's just all this like fan service and stuff. I don't know, it's really cool. I'm going to assume this takes place after all of Dragon Ball Super. I don't know though, it's hard to really say. Like I guess when super vil villain, you know, like Dragon Ball Super, uh, specific villains start showing up, how they react to those characters will matter. Obviously, this takes place after the tournament, so they should know about like Hit and Universe 6 people. But uh, for right now, it looks like uh, we can take on this and then we can take on that. That'll be pretty good. I will worry about dealing with Boo in the next episode, I think. Man, it's actually moving quicker than I had anticipated. But hey, that means more for later. Ooh, it's Tien versus Tien. It's a strange feeling to be face to face with my clone. Not just the face and form, but even its power is the same. Well, there's no better training partner than this, I suppose. 
If this thing has the same fighting style as me, I can use that to learn about my own weaknesses. That means... Beating you will mean I've surpassed my current self. I'll use you to push myself. To reach the next level as a martial artist. Bring it on. I'm ready. Tien is so cool. Now, I mean, I have explained in the past in other series is why I like Tien so much. I do think he's the strongest human and he seems to be like the best fighter out of them. Not only that, he was such an awesome threat in the original Dragon Ball. I feel like there's a lot of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super fans who have not taken the time to either read the manga or watch the show from before Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball. And it's so good, especially if you like these characters for what they are, characters, not just as fighters. It's just because Dragon Ball had that fe feature and that focus so much, which was that these characters are developing. I mean, Goku ages and about, like that's sort of the thing, like Goku, he ends up beating everybody. You know, that's the sort of his character. But in the original Dragon Ball, it wasn't exactly just about that. It was also about the connections he made with the people in his adventures. Like that was a big part of it. So like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I still don't know how to switch to the third person without one of these two people being taken out. Oh, like that with L2. Ah, okay. So now that we have Tien out here, he's still not at full health, but if I go to the special move list, I would really have to do one of his special moves. Um, if you succeed, you'll be unable to use it again in the same battle. Neo Tri-Beam, perform follow-up attacks with R1, and then Tri-Beam. So we'll try just Tri-Beam, get to use one key, key gauge, and then move back, and then Oh, and his moves look so stinking cool. Like, you know, it's just like, oh my gosh. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love him. Oh, his health is lower though. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him change up. There we go. So we've used Tien a little bit. I would love to use him more, but I don't. I just don't know if I'm gonna have the opportunity to. But it's actually been challenging to keep our characters at full health, which is good that we're getting a larger variety of them then because we might be starting to run into some tough boss battles. I can only hope that with the beginning of each chapter, we get like a full restore, so if we move on to the next level, we'll be fine. But I don't know. Anyways, um, ow, ow, ooh, that's not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, 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 I did the wrong one. I'm trying to just, I'm literally just trying to do Kamehameha. Special move list, am I doing it wrong? No, I'm not, maybe I just don't have enough energy. There we go. So yeah, I'm still not doing the best. I need to learn how to improve, which is gonna take some time. But we got health regeneration level one. I think I might wanna take that. Oh, very close to level four, I'm at level five and four for Yamcha and Tien. Pretty gosh darn cool. But yeah, Tien, if you don't know, is a Buddhist. He has a third inner eye, which usually means in that kind of culture that he's reached enlightenment, which is just a very different character trait. He just seems to have a different personality from, from the other characters. But I'll go ahead and switch Tien out for Krillin for this boss fight, just in case it's super difficult and we need a full health character. So let's get started with this. Krillin's gonna be a little under leveled, which is a shame, but he is like right at a level up, I think. I can't remember. By the way, maybe we should also take a look at our player skills, maybe I don't need as much attack up and I can get something else applied here. Like, let's take out the health regeneration. That is right here. Victory, health, recovery, up. Ooh, that's not gonna be too helpful for the actual battle. Maybe we could just do partial drain then. Something like that might be good. Or maybe we'll do two attack power-ups and then a um, partial drain. Anyways, this looks good. We're gonna be going against enemy team, uh, clone cell, clone captain Ginyu, and clone Nappa. It's a boss fight, I guess. I mean, it says it's a boss. Is it really a boss? I don't know. There's no storyline thing attached to it. Basically, it means this is the last fight. If you complete this fight, it'll move you on to the next level. I guess this, this game might actually end up being quite long, depending on how long it takes us to get through everything. I mean, I'm if this is a 50 episode series, I would love that because this is, this is a fun game so far. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too. Hope you guys have enjoyed the first two episodes and this one as well. Okay, so repel your opponent to, so this is still a tutorial. Ooh, ooh, okay. Interesting, it's a tutorial boss. Um, Turn the tables with a sparking blast. So yeah, usually sparking blasts are more effective if you have less characters that are at lower health. Whoa, wait, perform a guard cancel. Wait, what? I don't understand. When you guard an opponent's attack, press back in L or back in L2, to consume one key gauge and perform the guard cancel change. You can do this even when you have no allies. Whoa, whoa, was that it? I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. 
Uh, or maybe, oh, I'm doing it the opposite direction because I was facing him the opposite, oh, come on. Now I gotta have him heal. Luckily, it's at the end of the chapter, so. Yeah, that's it. I understand now. I was doing it the opposite direction. Finish by defeating the enemy. All right then, this will at least be good an experience for Kuro and he's gonna need it to catch up a little bit. That's the only hard part is that we wanna play a fair balance of the characters so that everybody gets leveled up. It's just been hard to do that because I'm trying to learn the said characters. So maybe I should start playing some of the characters outside of the story mode or something so I can figure that out. I don't know if the levels they have here end up being affected, you know, somewhere else, but, uh, you know, like, is there any way to level up the characters outside of the story mode? Because I wouldn't want to do that. I want the story mode just to sort of stay standalone. Anyways, there's that done. Um, we got Captain Ginyu here. Let me go ahead and do my special if I can, if I can remember the buttons for it. There we go. That should be some pretty good damage. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, Yamka, Yamcha got taken out, which is a shame. But I'm pretty sure that if we move on to the next chapter, everybody's health will be restored, which would be very helpful, which means in the next episode when we take on the next chapter, we'll go ahead and uh, try out Majin Buu and maybe a bit more Tien, that'd be good. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. Come on, come on, ow, ow. Ooh, I accidentally countered there and I didn't really mean to. It's super tough. I'm still trying to figure out a lot of this game, especially with the guarding and defending and that kind of stuff. That's usually where I struggle with fighting games. I just like, I don't have the reaction speed to, to keep up with people's attacks. All right, go ahead and try to hit you with this, and then maybe I'll move over to Goku and we'll start beating you up, because we should have enough energy to where, yeah, okay, so it is the same energy bar, but that's not too bad, because then we can do Goku's special move, and then you can just finish him off, Goku. See ya, Nappa, a bit, of a, a bit overdoing it, I'll be honest, but that's a-okay with me. Okay, mission complete. Not a perfect by any means, but luckily Goku still has full health. Defense up level one, which is good. We get level five for Yamcha. Almost, we need 10 more experience until we get level six for Goku and almost level four for Krillin. So some really, really good stuff there. I'm glad to see it. And yeah, good progress today. We unlocked a new character and we are in Super Warrior Arc Chapter Five. Piccolo revived, find Android 16. So this is the same thing. We were already in this chapter. How is this possible? Why aren't their powers as diminished as mine are? This isn't fair. How can I, the perfect being, be defeated? He's really upset about this. <laughs> A sorry sight you were, Cell. Ooh, I wonder who this could be. Frieza. Hope you don't mind me observing this delightful spectacle from afar. I really like how the only way Cell knows about Frieza is that he has, I think he has some of the memories, or at least the intel of Goku and the gang. As far as I know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong about that. I don't know how he knows about Frieza. Remember, we had a deal. A deal you chose to ignore just so you could run up on your own and fail miserably. Ah, I guess maybe there's some backstory we don't know about. Tell me, how was your showdown with that filthy primate? <laughs> I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> so that's how it is. Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. My subordinates have acquired information that might be of some small interest to you. Oh, by subordinates, I assume you mean that over-choreographed circus troupe? What an embarrassment they are to your cause. I'm sure you're very proud. <laughs> These two make such a nice combo. Uh, but yes. They are called the Ginyu Force. Does this not entice you? My precious intel, that is. What say you to a deal? Tell me what you need, and I'd be happy to tell you what I know. Oh boy. So they're, they're conniving something. Whatever that might be, I guess we'll find out later, because we are moving on. Oh no, no, no not yet, not yet. Not too soon. Oh. Hey, um, hello? Who's that inside my head right now? Oh, it's just me, Zebra. Goku. Goku. Wait a minute. No, that's a different voice. Piccolo? That's not mine. It's Piccolo. I wish that was my voice. Come quick. They're too strong. Who is? And where? I don't know, but we gotta save them. I'm sensing a small energy distortion. That way. Oh my. Okay, let's go save Piccolo. 
One of my, my, I think at this point, my favorite character. Tien's my favorite human out of the bunch, and for a while he was my favorite character, but I think as I get older, Piccolo wins me over. Chapter five, map six, so I guess we're still in chapter five, and we'll worry about that, completing chapter five, in the next episode of Dragon Ball Fighters. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra TM so I know you've watched the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.